Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of SDL and OpenGL. My name is Nate Nessler and this is for Hyperactive Studios. Now as you can see here we did add something different from the previous lessons here and that is that we can do this SDL mod space key mod semicolon and that's important. We need that in order to do the key modifiers. In that case what I mean is control alt shift these are all key modifiers so if you're holding these down then they do special functionality when you hit another key uh, to do alternate keys etc so these modifier keys are accessible uh, with the mod key here of course key state still is the same key delay key repeat none of that stuff changes main thing we're focusing on in this particular video set now is going to be the keyboard and we're going to go through all the keys for the keyboard and the modifiers form and for the event structure too for the polling event we're going to do direct access and polling event but we're not going to do a polling event for every key instead we're going to do uh, direct access to access every key because I think that's a better method okay so with that said and done let's have a look at what is possible and what we can do Okay, so nothing else has changed. Everything else is the same. Is the same, and the only thing we're gonna do is come down here to where keyboard is, and make changes. Uh, we're gonna add to this <laughs> significantly, shall we say? Okay, so here we are with our keyboard function as before, and then we have our key state here. Get key state and all, of course. SDL enable key repeat here, along with those values here. Um, and then it result uh, Unicode here equals SDL enabled Unicode one here. When enables Unicode, zero uh, disables uh, Unicode, which I should have said zero in there. And then um, you know negative one is going to uh, does not enable or disable Unicode. I should have done that like that. Oops. <laughs> Um, this, what Unicode is, is basically uh, it does actually eat up a little bit more processing time if you do use Unicode. But um, essentially what this does is when you press A, it gives you A for a value. Um, so if you want to set that up for the you know, Unicode ordinance values. So if you want to set that up, you can do that. I didn't bother. And my reasoning is if I hit the A key, I'm using the bitwise operator here to detect that the A key was pressed. And then I can handle that for typing out something, I can handle it for you know that being some kind of action or whatever. You really don't need um, the A key to be expressed in any particular way for, uh, for it putting out an actual A character. Because I might use this for game input that doesn't use an A character or I may be using this for um, for typing up something or I could add, I could do my own A character, it doesn't matter to me. You know, so I didn't bother because um, you basically get that same kind of functionality this way for the most part, anyways. Um, but if you want to set up Unicode, you can do it. And this is how you do it. So if open parentheses key state open brackets SDLK underscore left here close brackets close parentheses, this is going to give us our left arrow key. Now we've already done this. We have our rotations up here. SDLK here, so we always have SDLK before whatever key value we have, except for modifiers, and that they're the only ones that don't follow that rule, and they have a special modifier um, expression that goes for it. Well, not expression, but you know, little tag, if you will, little little set of characters to go before it, and then underscore, and then whatever the name of the key is, it's the standard. So we have our SDL, our down, and now you can see that we've got, and this is all the same as from before. But this is different here. Now you can see that we have um, for our key state here, open bracket SDLK underscore A here, close bracket, close parentheses. Now capitalization does matter, so you make sure you get it exactly as it's written here. And now I'm just doing an fprintf to make it go out to a text file so that you can see that yes indeed the A key was pressed and this is great for debugging purposes and then later on you can add different binding to where people can assign different keys to do different functionality in the game and basically you'll have it coded out for every key this way so basically just select this top uh, one right here with probably the space too included uh, maybe not that much space like so Control C to copy, or you can right click and say edit, 
copy and then you're going to just paste it with control V next uh, one here or you can just right click and say edit paste control V and control C is way faster so I recommend you use that alright so paste that in change the A to a B and set this to a B keep going with it C to C keep copying and pasting we'll just keep pasting you don't have to keep copying just keep pasting change the A to a C then that one to a C change that one to a D that one to a D change that one to an E change that one to the E change that one to an F change that one to an F change this one to a G this one to a G change this one to an H this one to an H this one to I that one to I J J K K and you can just keep going down the line Keep going here. L L M M N N O O P P Q Q R R S S T T U U V V. And let's keep on going. <laughs> so it's not bad. I mean, I know it looks like a ton of code, and it is a lot of code, but it's not hard code. It's easy to do code. W W X, X, Y, Y, and Z, Z. Alright. And I accidentally put one extra A in there. It shouldn't be there. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Okay. Well, it's toast. Um, how about that? <laughs> uh, Alright. So we have our F1. Let's go ahead and paste it again. And let's change it to Nate not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should change it to. I have clicked on a yeah. This thing likes to hide things really easily. Sorry. Uh, you'll do it too, I'm sure. Alrighty. So we're gonna paste this in again. Change the A to a F1, and that's a capital F. Make sure you make that F capital. I know the other ones we're making them all lowercase. This needs to be a capital F. F1, and then change it to F1 just like so. Okay, and once you do that, go ahead and copy this one by selecting it with your space here, control C, and let's start to do the control V again. And now all you have to do is change the numbers. So control V here, two, two, so it's F2, F2, F3, F3, F4, F4, F5, F5, F6, F6, F7, F7, F8, F8, F9, F9, F10, F10, F11, F11, and then of course we have some more. <laughs> Just when you thought it was over. No, there's more. F12, F12, F13, F13, F14, F14, F15, F15, and then go ahead and paste in the next one here and we're going to change this to KP0. Now this is keypad 0. That's what the KP stands for, keypad here, okay? Whereas this is SDL keys or keyboard, etc. This is keypad for KP for this. And then we're just going for our numbers here. So change that to KP0 and then call this keypad 0 here, like this right here. Uh, and this is just so we know what's being, of course FPrintF is for testing purposes to make sure that, hey, our key setup is working, okay? So we're going to select this whole thing here, control C again, and commence pasting. All right, so control V, paste, change that P to a 1, change that one, 0 to a 1. Change it from two to, from 0 to 2, to two, 0 to 2. 0 to 3, 0 to 3, 0 to 4, 0 to 4, 0 to 5, 0 to 5. And continuing on, man. 0 to 6. 0 to 6, 0 to 7, 0 to 7, 0 to 8, 0 to 8, 0 to 9, 0 to 9. Alright, we have backspace here, key backspace. So paste in and type out backspace and then say key backspace here. Some of these are getting a little more trickier. We're going to have to actually go and type it out for each one paste in another one, doesn't really matter because we're going to have to type it out each way, each time anyhow for each one. Type out tab here, all caps for each one of these here. All these are all caps here. Make sure you do that, okay? And then key tab, and this is your tab key on the uh, keyboard. Uh, clear, this is your clear key. Um, yeah, you'll find it. Uh, anyways, 
here's clear key so type out clear here and then type in clear here all caps again then paste in the next one and do return and return here and return is your main inner key on your keyboard next to where all your letters are and not the inner key that's on your keypad so this is different SDLK here pause pause all caps here And yeah, there's pause break on your keyboard here. Um, that's that button here. So key pause here. Uh, key escape, SDLK underscore escape for your escape key. And this outputs escape. That's the message here. And we'll say escape. So this is how you can direct access the escape key. If key stay here, and we SDLK underscore space, key space, let you do the space bar. That's what the space is. Okay, all caps. <laughs> Exclaim. So the explanation mark. <laughs> so that's the exclaim one. Um, all caps. Put in key exclamation mark here. Uh, double quote. Key double quote. Hash here. Key hash. Dollar. All caps again. Key dollar. Ampersand. All caps. Ampersand here. Quote. Quote. All caps for the quote. Left paren. This is for parentheses. Left paren. All caps. Parentheses. Left parentheses. Right paren. Right parentheses, okay. Asterisk, key asterisk, plus key plus sign, comma, key comma. Alright, so we have our comma, our plus, our comma, then we do our minus, our period, so minus sign here, comma here, plus sign here, uh, period, it's the period key, uh, slash here, key slash, colon, colon, all caps colon, semicolon, all caps, semicolon here, less, this is the less than symbol, okay, equal sign, equals, greater, greater than symbol, question, um, it's a question mark, at, the at sign, you know, for like doing emails and stuff like that, the at sign, yep, that key, um, left bracket, left bracket uh, backslash here backslash right bracket right bracket carrot carrot key carrot key is uh, over your six typically for uh, US standard keyboard anyways uh, this is international setup here though for these keys so some of the keys on here for you, those of us that are in the US uh, you may notice some keys on here that aren't on your keyboard that's because this goes for international keyboard standards and not just uh, the US keyboard so realize that so there's going to be some things on here that's not going to be on our keyboard underscore back quote and it's underscore here too all caps again back quote all um, all caps it's the uh, key grave All right. Delete key, the delete key. You can find it typically under your print screen, sc uh, scroll lock, and your pause break, typically, in that area. Unless you're on a notebook computer, of course. 
then the keys get all rearranged. Um, keyboard period. So here we got our key, um, sorry, keypad period. So SDLK underscore KP underscore period. Uh, and that's your keypad period. You can copy and paste these now. So now we're into an area where we can copy and paste again uh, and just make changes to just part of it here. So that way we're not having to type out as much stuff here. So go ahead and type this out. So keypad period here. And we're going to select this one here, control C. And we're going to paste it out. Then we're going to change, per change period to divide and change uh, period to division here. And then multiply, change it to multiply here, and then multiply here, all caps again. Minus here, minus. Huh. I might have made a mistake right here. This should be KP underscore. Just double check. P. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I did make a mistake there. Okay. Yeah, that's supposed to be uh, SDLK underscore KP underscore plus. Yeah, I didn't catch that earlier. The cool thing about code blocks, it has auto completion. So you should be seeing completion for everything you do. If you don't see completion, chances are you've made a mistake. Um, so, you know, for that reason right there, that keypad plus was the correct one. I might have auto-completed the wrong thing earlier. <laughs> I don't know uh, when I was typing it out. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't thinking. Probably that. Probably that's the one. <laughs> All right. So, um, and then, of course, that's keypad plus. And then keypad enter here. Enter. Uh, equals. Keypad equals. Equals. Uh, sign. Uh, insert. Key. So we're no longer doing the KP stuff, so you know, get it back to off the keypad here. So we're going to paste in the next one, get rid of your KP underscore here, and type in insert instead of uh, whatever your last one was, uh, probably period. And then change it, uh, to uh, key insert here. And then paste in, uh, copy this one, control C. And then control V to paste again. If key state, I still K underscore home here, key home for the home key. And then we're going to do the next one here for uh, SDLK underscore end here, end key. SDLK page up, page up, page down, page down, all caps for these here. Num lock, num lock. Caps lock, caps lock, scroll lock, scroll lock. R shift, this is right shift. L shift, left shift. Control, right control, right control. L control, left control. R alt, uh, key right alt. L alt, should be the left alt key. I thought these had to be under the modifiers. It might be strange. Um, R alt here, uh, key right alt, L alt, left alt, R meta for right meta. You may not have these keys here. Left meta for left meta, L super, uh, left super. Think of your super as your Microsoft key for your Windows key here. That's what that super key is. Uh, key right super. You have these Microsoft keys on both sides of the uh, uh, space bar. Key mode shift. Key help. Key print screen. Key system uh, rec. Don't know if I have that key. That might be one of those international keys. Um, anyways. Uh, SLK break, key break, SLK key menu. Okay, 
uh, STLK key power for those keyboards to have that key. STLK key, uh, you know, euro, key euro. Uh, and then key mod equals STLK underscore get mod state here, open close parentheses semicolon. If key mod is equivalent to K mod underscore none, close parentheses, F -parenth, key mod none here. So these are modifier keys here. And they start with K mod. So we can also do modifier keys, which is great. And that's why we had to have that K mod earlier. And this gets it as a ORD uh, set up just like before. So we can just do these if checks on each one here. So if nothing was done for modifier, then you know kicking out nothing for the modifier. Otherwise, if we have K mod num there, this is the mod num lock key. This one is the mod caps lock key. This is the left control modifier, k mod underscore l control. So essentially what you want to do is just copy control C and then hit control V to paste in these modifier keys here. k mod caps for the uh, caps lock K mod left control for the control. K mod K mod <laughs> thank God. whatever. K mod mod uh, right control uh, key here. So R control. Then K mod underscore right shift. Uh, K mod right shift. K mod left shift. K mod left shift. K mod right alt. For K mod alt right uh, for the right alternate key uh, modifier K mod underscore L alt for your left alternate key K mod underscore control mod uh, control K mod shift here uh, K mod shift and K mod alt K mod alt key. So you can determine whether it's left or right uh, alternate keys, or what's the alternate key just hit in combination with something, etc., etc., etc. So there's your modifier keys too. So that pretty much covers all the keys. Now the only thing else here that we need to look at for our setup is down in here. Going, going, going. All right. All right. Also, if you wanted to, now we already went over how to do a key down here for a particular key and detecting that with our key sim. And in this case, it's a done when someone hits the escape key. But we can also use it to detect a modifier key here. In this case, I'm detecting the left control, but you could choose whatever you wanted to be, you know, from that list up there, because I've already listed them all in the direct access. So I didn't want to go back through all that again just for polling. But essentially, this is exactly how you do it. So if you want to do it polling method style, this is how you do it right here. I prefer direct access, but whatever you prefer, you know, you put it in how you like. Uh, by putting it in direct access, we can break it up easier. And I like the um, interactivity for accessing the keys easier and direct access. I, I like the way it's done better. Um, but here we go. And that covers our SDL for interactivity here. And that was the only thing different. It was you know it's a key uh, sorry event dot key dot key sim dot mod instead of dot sim here. So you, know, you see this mod it's different. And then we do a K mod here underscore L control L L, you know, close parentheses, F print F, open parentheses, S T D out, comma in quotes here, left control pressed slash in close quotes, close parentheses, semicolon. And of course, we break after this whole statement. Um, but other than that, yeah, we still have keyboard, mouse, gate, joysticks, nothing new. Everything else is the same. We really didn't have to do anything else. So, with that, that covers the entire keyboard setup. Uh, it's a lot of code. We'll spend some time typing this all in, no doubt. Uh, but that covers the whole thing and so now we're at about 787 lines of code and it's still going because we'll still add a uh, server and we'll add um, a number of other things too audio systems uh, we'll be adding the image system for loading images 
and accessing the CD-ROM um, and I'll introduce you to where you can get some other stuff for like if you want to uh, play videos or something like that too it's also possible or um, it's even possible to access a webcam with this or I mean you name it there's just all kinds of stuff you can do with SDL you can drive robotics uh, or remote, remote control cars or I'm not kidding you can do all this kind of stuff with this SDL uh, with all the stuff you've already learned with the joystick control stuff and things of this nature where you know a uh, remote control car or a um, uh, robot can be considered a joystick more or less being uh, added to the system and then you can drive that uh, external device with um, you know because a joystick doesn't necessarily have to be a joystick it could be anything that's plugged into the computer system that has you know rotational axis of motion and stuff like this so since we learned how to do the joystick and everything that you are now capable of driving robots and robotics and cars and just you name it all kinds of things so the possibilities for what is open and you could drive this across the web if you have that set up with the network capability so you can do a lot of crazy awesome things so with this um, that covers uh, SDL uh, you now have a tremendous amount of power for what well, covers the keyboard mouse and joystick and uh, you now have a tremendous amount of power to work with and play with and there's all kinds of crazy things you can do if you let your mind out to do what it is you want to do um, there's it really the the doors are open to a, a great number of things uh, with this and a lot of potential power um, we'll get into some of these other add-ons here in a bit um, like for instance the network is an add-on the image is an add-on the audio system is there but then there's a mixer system that we'll look at too that's going to make it even better than the original one for doing all kinds of music stuff and it's full blown robust system and then we'll look at some other stuff too besides that uh, there's also ability to do true type fonts and uh, access like I said video playing back and webcams and all this stuff but uh, you know we'll put it down to a certain uh, you know th number of things we'll do uh, with this though, um, this was SDL uh, programming for the keyboard in this particular case for OpenGL. My name is Nate Nestler, Nestler and this is for Hyperactive Studios. Thank you very much.